everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video yoga for hikers. Perfect if you spend a lot of time outdoors, whether that's taking easy walks or more challenging mountain hikes, the sequence is going to be perfect for you. So we're going to go ahead, roll out our mats. We're going to begin in a child's pose today. You can modify your child's pose, having the knees a little closer together or taking the knees slightly wider, bring the two big toes to touching at the back. And as you exhale, just slowly begin to walk the fingertips and gently bring that body into your child's pose, softening the forehead all the way down to the mat. And try and just keep those shoulders as relaxed from the ears as you can. We're going to take five breaths here. With every exhale, just keep sinking that tailbone back towards the heels. On your next inhale, pressing both hands into the mat, slowly come up, adjusting the legs. Finding our flat back tabletop, we're going to prepare for cat and cow. So always remembering in our cat and cow to take a slightly wider stance and with space between the knees. So when you take your gaze to the back, you want to stack your feet so you're unable to see them. Spread the fingers, pressing into the palms, shoulders stacked over the wrists. Inhale, take the gaze up, chin up, arching the spine. As you exhale, rounding, tucking in, pull that belly into the spine. Four more, inhale. Exhale. Three more, inhale. tuck the toes flat back and on your next exhale let's lift up into our first downward facing dog just keeping that head loose and free and press your heels back if you need to sending those hips up high on an inhale let's extend that right leg coming into our three-legged dog we're gonna bend the knee opening up the hip On your next inhale, we're going to gently start to make rotations with the hip. Let's take three in one direction. And whenever you're ready, just rotate opposite direction. Inhale, extend. And exhale, downward facing dog. Shake up the head. Inhale, left leg extends, three-legged dog. Bend into the knee, open up the hip. On your next inhale, just taking those hip rotations to the back. You're welcome to take more than three if it feels good. And then just change direction when you're ready. Inhale, left leg extends. Exhale, downward facing dog. Shake out the head. Let's inhale, find our high plank. So maybe you need to adjust your feet to slightly pull that belly in towards the spine. And on an exhale, chaturanga. Let's keep those elbows tucked in. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take five breaths in our down dog.
On your next inhale, we're gonna work into a twist in our downward facing dog, reaching that right hand towards the left calf muscle. You can adjust your gaze if you need. Holding for about two breaths. On an exhale, release. And switching sides, taking that left hand to the right calf. So I really feel this in my lower back. It really helps to stretch it out. If you want to take it deeper, just wrap the palm even further over that calf muscle. And coming down. On an inhale, find your high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, lower down, elbows tucked in. Inhale, up a dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a big sigh breath. Exhale, open the mouth. Inhale, step that right foot through, finding our warrior two. We're going to ground that back foot, bring the arms up. Just checking your back foot's nice and square, rooted into the mat. Gaze over that front little finger. You want to soften your shoulders, allowing the arms to be strong, but shoulders to be soft. Two more breaths. Let's soften a little more. On an exhale, cartwheel both hands. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, keep those elbows in. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg steps through, grounding that back foot. Find your warrior two. Gaze over that front middle finger, soften a little more. Remembering always in your warrior postures to raise the arch a little in your foot, protecting this part of your knee. On an exhale, cartwheel both hands to the mat. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows tucked in. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to inhale, step right foot followed by left to the front of your mat. We're going to exhale into a full forward fold. So maybe for you that's a slight bend in the knees. Just grabbing either side of the elbows. Let your head hang heavy. Taking a little gentle rock side to side. Releasing hands to the mat, slight bend in the knees. Allow the spine to come up one vertebra at a time. All the way to standing, rotate those shoulders to the back. Come to the middle of our mats and bring the feet as close together as feels comfortable for you. We're going to inhale, reach both arms up to the sky, interlace index finger mudra, working into our half moon on an exhale, just taking it over to the side, feeling the nice stretch in the rib cage, side body. Inhale, reach up, exhale. Inhale, and we're going to repeat that. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, release. Take our feet wide, preparing for a wide-legged forward fold. 
Now we're going to interlace fingers to the base of our spine again with an index finger mudra. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, taking a bend in the knees if that's what your body needs. And on your exhale as you begin to fold, sending the index finger mudra to the sky. Let your head hang if your arms sink all the way back. Like mine are, that's okay. If you find you're here, that's also fine. Keep pulling that belly in towards the spine. On an inhale, slight bend in the knee. Slowly come up and relax arms, bring the legs together, shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up. All right, coming to stand at the front of our mats. Inhale, reach the arms up, bring the palms to touching. Exhale through heart center. We're just gonna relax the hands at our sides, coming into our Tadasana mountain pose. So rocking a little, just making sure the feet are grounded, spread the toes, get rooted into your mat, relax the shoulders. Let's just take three breaths. You can have a little bend if you need it. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, full forward fold. Aiming to take that left hand to the outside of the right foot. Let's reach up to the sky with the right arm. So left hand stays on the mat, reaching up to the sky. You can also twist, taking the gaze towards the thumb. Or you can even leave the head hanging with the gaze at the mat. Exhale, switching, so taking the right hand, if it's comfortable, to the outer edge of the left foot and reach up to the sky with that left arm. On and exhale, take it down. Bringing both hands to the mat, stepping right foot back, Followed by left, find your high plank. Pulling belly in towards the spine, slowly begin to just drop the knees towards the mat with control. On an inhale, reach up with that right arm. As you exhale, let's take that right arm behind your back, open up the shoulder. And if the back of the hand reaches all the way to the hip bone, you can just twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, left arm extends. Exhale, take it behind. And again, if the back of the hand reaches for the hip bone, just open up the shoulder. You can always twist just that little bit more. Inhale, extend, and exhale, lower down. So we're going to come back to our child's pose, just taking the knees wide, two big toes to touching. Sink that tailbone back, and let's extend the arms, soften the forehead down. Taking five breaths. Keep sending tailbone back towards the heels. Two more breaths. Six. 
slowly coming up, flat back, tabletop. Let's tuck the toes and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step or hop both feet to the front of your mat. Let's exhale, lower tailbone down. Gently just coming back into seated. Let's bring hands to the base of our spine. A little bit of space between the feet. Just gently windshield wipe the feet and the legs side to side. Taking a side breath if you need it. And adjusting our body, preparing to bring the spine all the way down onto the mat. Let's go ahead and hug the knees into the chest. Keeping our chin tucked in so the back of the neck is nice and long. Take a little rock side to side. And let's bring both feet to the mat onto the outer edges of your mat. You're going to rotate the bent knees towards the right side and then taking your right foot, just putting a little bit of pressure onto that left knee, dropping it a little more. You can also adjust the arms if you like and rotate that chin towards the left side. One more breath. Gently release, coming back to center. And on an exhale, let's rotate the knees to left side. You can bring the arms back, extend them, and take that left foot, just a little bit of pressure on the right knee, rotating the chin towards the right side. Gently coming back to center, one last hug of the knees into the chest. You can invite the forehead up to meet the knees. Squeeze it out. Gently lower down. And just slowly rock yourself up into seated. Let's come into our comfortable seated position. Bringing hands into prayer in front of the heart space. Deepest breath in through the nose. And a sigh breath out the mouth. One more inhale, side breath, bringing thumbs to the forehead. May we always have mindful thoughts, thumbs to the mouth, mindful words, and thumbs to the heart space, mindful actions of love and kindness. Namaste.